And here we are, getting about to clean up my, my aquarium. <clears throat> my uh, my daughter's um, beta fish has died. It's been almost more than a year, and uh, we're planning to get another beta fish, but I have to clean up this aquarium, so it's nothing to do here. Just untangling my wires. So our fish uh, tummy started growing. And I've been going around the you know fish store asking what I can do, um, change the food and not feed him for days, but eventually uh, took its toll. So I'm just trying to untangle these spaghetti noodles up in here. It's uh, this tank I think is a 1.5 gallon tank. Um, Yeah, it's trying to pull it apart. I'm trying to get that filter off. I have I'm using a um, uh, carbon impregnated filter. Yes. Uh, by the way, I'm doing this at I believe it's like three o'clock in the morning. I woke up and on all of a sudden my brain goes, "Oh, let me go clean the fish tank." I'm trying to be really quiet as they're sleeping. So I just got some paper towels, ran some uh, slightly warm water there and just started scrubbing off. I don't want to, I don't really want to bore you guys here while I'm scrubbing away, so let's uh, skip this through. Yeah, scrub as, as much as you can. Uh, no, no chemicals, no soap, no anything. Just run water. Um, and scrub it so hot. Set it there aside. And a couple of a uh, face towel there. A oh, little towel. That's uh, next thing would be uh, the heater, mini heater. This thing gets too hot. I just plug it in for 15-20 minutes, and the, the temperature in the tank starts rising. So should have bought another one, but oh well. This is what they had at uh, Petco. Also the same thing, just scrub it all off. It's running water. And then set it aside here. Let's drop all of those. Drop all of those water. By the way, I'm using this new microphone that uh, my daughter tried to unbox. I will be posting up that video. So trying to get up these figurines or display or I don't know how to pronounce it. It's Spongebob. <laughs> so here we are just scrubbing it off. And try to get as much as stuff as possible. Doesn't really, you know, it's not that bad to have... Not too clean, just as long as there's no soap or any chemicals. Uh, I use a paper towel, so I don't want to use any rags or toothbrushes. It might have some stuff lingering on it. So here I'm just draining it off. I already cleaned those little figurines. Just rinsing off the gravel. And then after this, I would be uh, using the same um, paper towel. I would be just scrubbing up the, the top portions of the uh, uh, the plastic section there, and and the inside too. I mean, you know, you could buy these glass scrubbers or microfiber scrubbers, or whatever, but yeah. I mean, I haven't seen any scratches on it, so. Here we are, just doing my last rinse. Putting them back all together.
putting her back in position. And then putting back up the filter. I guess you can say I'm not doing that much 3 in the morning. Just woke up. And I forgot to clean up this filter, so just rinse it out also. I mean, pretty good. I bought a, a big roll of this thing and I just cut it into uh, to shape. Yep, wrong position. <laughs> Slide up in there. And just trying to tap that out, trying to wipe it down. And put back the little heater, heating element. Yeah, basically everything goes back in reverse, so. By the way, I use, um, I just use those um, non-hypoallergenic gloves because if I have any lotion on me or I will wash my hands with soap and water, I don't want to have any contamination. So I'll just put, I believe I put 10 drops of this um, pH balance, water, um, water balance. Also, everything from Petco, bought it all. It was my daughter, my daughter wanted it. She's a uh, She's seven years old. So I'll just put seven drops in there and let it run. I would let it run for at least 24 to 48 hours before I put any fish in there. And uh, a pinch of salt. Well, you know, aquarium salt, not you know, anodized salt. <laughs> So technically, this is this is how I do it too. If I bought a new uh, bought a new tank, I'll just rinse it off with lightly warm water. All right, well here it is, nice and clean again, ready for the next fish. I don't know what we'll be getting, but maybe we should, we're gonna be picking up another beta fish. That fish lasted more than uh, a year. So thank you very much, guys. Take it easy.